Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to enable FSR version 3.1.2 in Alan Wake Remastered running on ROG LF Windows 11. I have the set one extreme variant of this device. We will be using Night X3 OctiScaler mod. This game only supports DLSS subscaler on PC platform. The game is exclusively available on Epic Store. We will be using version 0.7 preview 36 build of OctiScaler. Supports FSR version 3.1.2. Just scroll down until you find the set section. Expand it. Click on the .7G link here. Open File Explorer. Click on Downloads. In this directory, you will find the OptiScaler mod file that you just downloaded. I have transferred it to another folder. Named it as Wake. You can name it anything you want. Open the archive file. Select and copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Go back, paste. Now open DLSS overrides folder. Execute this registry file. Enable signature override. Run. Yes. OK. Go back. Now just change the name of nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll. Select the highlighted files. Don't need to select the two folders and this archive file. Copy. Open the games install directory. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Click on manage. Then click on the fold icon here. This is the games install directory. Just paste the mod files here. Paste. Now just look for nvngx underscore dlss dot dll file in this directory. And there it is. Need to create a copy of it. Paste in the same directory. Rename it to nvngx.dll That's it. Mod has been installed. Now games profile did not pop up automatically in adrenaline software. We need to manually add the games exe file to it. And just click on the three dots here. Click on add a game. Navigate to the games install directory. In my case it's C drive epic Alan Wake remastered. Just double click on this exe file game underscore f underscore x64 underscore eos. This profile will pop up. Just open it. Enable freezing and vsync from here. Anti lag setting enabled as well. Helps in reducing the latency. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest preview GPU driver that supports Dragon Age the Veilguard. Using a 25 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 25 watts. 900p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max gamepad to Alive via Bluetooth mode. Make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. It can interfere with the working of the mod. I am using internal lens overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings. As you can see, DLSS setting got unlocked. This means the mod is working 900p resolution display mode borderless resolution scale 100% using the quality preset of the upscaler vsync off motion blur and frame grain disabled advanced setting i am using the high preset why not the original alan way game was released way back in 2010 the story follows best selling crime thriller novelist alan wake as he tries to uncover the mystery behind his wife's disappearance during a vacation in the small fictional town of Bright Falls. Ok, I'll just enable OptiScaler's mod menu now. Press the insert keyboard key. Need to start the game in order to initialize it. Using XCSS Subscaler version 1.3.1 frame generation disabled for the time being. We are in this week. Here FPS is around 60, hitting the GPU bottleneck. VRAM usage in this game is very variable, ranges from 3.7 to 5.1 GB. Oh my god, these crows need to purge the darkness using my flashlight. What was that? 50 to 70 FPS, see. Hitting the GP bottleneck, my then usage increased suddenly. Now I'll enable OptiScaler frame generation. Frame generation on. 
बैक टू द गेम ये एफ पी एस इंक्रीज टू अराउंड एटी नाइन्टी लुक एट डेट स्मूथनेस गेम्स हर्ड एलिमेंट्स आर फ्लिकरिंग एज एक्सपेक्टेड आई हैवेंट इनेबल गेम जनरेशन हार्ट वेक सेटिंग गेट शो इन द टी बग व्यू ऑब्जर्व द बॉटम मिडल इमेज इट शोइंग द हर्ड एलिमेंट This means the hard element will flicker after enabling OptiScaler frame generation. Fix this issue by enabling FG hard fix setting and setting the limit value to two. Now check the debug view. Resume the game. Hard element is gone from the bottom middle image. The hard element should not flicker now after enabling OptiScaler frame generation. Debug view disabled. When standing under a bright light source, you will observe some ghosting around the character model. It's due to the upscaling artifact. Frame generation just makes it more noticeable. Yeah, everything is working properly. Can observe a screen tearing like effect around the left and right edges of the display. Common FSR frame generation related artifact. Shouldn't be noticeable when moving the camera at a normal speed like this. 80 FPS. Okay, our wife needs a help. Cut scene. Subtitles are not flickering. We came here for a vacation. Pride falls. It turned into a nightmare. Oh my God. Challenger. Equipped a flashlight and a weapon. Need to escape from here in this cabin. Creature is lurking outside. In this game, we fight against the shadows. Post the darkness around them in order to do any damage. Just point a flashlight at the creature. Door is locked. Input delay is not a problem. Here you can see VRAM usage increased to around 4.7 GB. Oh my God! <laughs> Need to quickly find a way out. That door got open. Sprint. That was close. There goes the cabin. <laughs> Is the gas station our objective? 66 FPS. Audio is not stuttering. Combat time. Point the flashlight at these things. Close the darkness and shoot them. Excellent experience on Rogue Ally. Mod work very nicely. Subtitles, no flickering at all. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.